So this is what we've got going on today. The forecast was a fairly sunny day, or at least it showed sun, 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 sun. And then for the next week where we have decent winds, but we have these summer cloudy storms all day. So they're not forecasting very much sun, which means spot fishing is out or sight fishing is out, especially for fly fishing. So although I wasn't planning on fishing today, I said, well, I better take advantage of what sun's left little bit of downturn in the wind and uh, get out there and at least whip the fly but as you can see ain't no sun out here and it's a little bit more breezy than they thought but that's okay because I brought the uh, pink uh, hoagies which I want to play with a little bit anyways so I've got that but uh, we just got to see what we could come up with today uh, hopefully this is just passing and then uh, we can get on with some fishing but until the Sun comes back out I really can't do any fly and that's the un unfortunate part that's the only real reason why I'm out here but we'll see what we can come up with today we're gonna be throwing the uh, pink hoagie uh, this is the 7 inch version usually I throw the 10 inch in either the white or the black but uh, I've got have these pink ones and I, I kind of do like the color in the clear water and I definitely want something with a little bit of a less of a footprint uh, going from the nine inch paddle tail which is really not functional in these real shallow clear water unless there's mullet really running through there going to the hoagie 10 inches a little bit better but it's still I think a little bit too big of a profile for what the tarpon on the flats are feeding on so like we're always trying to match the hatch so going down to the seven might be a little bit better presentation um, i started using the pink because of the uh, polar worm hatch and i did get some good reactionary bites so i'm going to just throw these um, i'm actually going to start working on some uh, soft plastics for next year uh, some handmade stuff for uh, the all about the bait and just come up with my own custom design so i'll play with a bunch of different plastics to see the the things that I like about them. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully this storm passes through pretty quick and doesn't dump too much rain. It's an angry little guy. For those keeping track of the tarpon conditions and why, uh, it's an end of the outgoing. So this is almost the low of the low tide. It might go down just a little bit more. And then the rest of the day is gonna be an incoming. So um, that kind of takes away from the uh, outlet. Fishing uh, that side of it is not gonna be very good because uh, bait wouldn't be flushed out. So they know that and they're not gonna be waiting out there. Uh, I'll still would get those uh, night tarpon that move in, but again, not so great of a bite because they wouldn't expect like blue crabs to be floating from the Atlantic inward. Uh, it's always flushing out. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is kind of waiting on the flats on the entryway so the water coming from the Atlantic comes this way. I'm going to be on that side of the flats hoping that those uh, tarpon move up on the flats. As the water gets higher they'll come up here to feed as well as other predator fish. So that's the reason why. Alright finally got a little break in the wind and the sun so I'm set up here on the flats gonna see if any tarpon start rolling up so basically looking at uh, right there is the channel dumping out into the uh, shark channel with an incoming tide the water will be coming this way so hopefully the fish will move up on the flats and then making their way up uh, wind is actually perfect conditions for uh, the setup because I've got the wind to my back I get decent visibility. So we'll sit up here and uh, see what we see. Well, things are gonna get real ugly here <laughs> real quick. So I'm gonna try to hide out. I think there's like a little cave over here. Maybe use my blanket, but I got my rain jacket, so no big deal. Pretty good thunder and lightning, so we're gonna take cover underneath those trees. And then hopefully it passes pretty quickly. So here's a good little spot to wait it out. Got a little bit of coverage there. I can go in deeper, I guess, if I wanted to, but I got rain gear, so no big deal. 
and hopefully that storm will pass right over us. Make sure you got a good, make sure you've got a good wide uh, hat. Keeps the rain off of you. Basic uh, lightweight uh, waterproof gear also helps. Face mask and uh, bug spray. You tuck into these mangroves like this, they're gonna have tons of uh, noceums and mosquitoes. So until it really starts pouring, they're gonna be all over you. Hunker down and wait it out. What else can you do? The other thing to remember, it's not a cold rain. It's still probably 80 degrees out here. So it's not like you're gonna get hypothermia or anything. Plus it's just rain, it's just water. No big deal. If you start getting cold, just jump in the water, that's like 85 degrees. Just gotta take it with a grain of rain. <laughs> We're making a run for it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get any better. It's still gray way that way, so I think we're done for the day. <laughs> <laughs>